the graffiti and mural art are almost inextricably linked to one another. And they, at their rawest form, are very tribal art forms. Welcome to Blackboard Jungle. environment where everything's like very similar it's really easy to like just like get lost in the similarity and like the habits or whatever so what you need to do is you know to create your own myth to like you know to work yourself out of it and become more special and find who you are like I mean that's kind of what I did because I think everyone has like something really special about them but sometimes it's so easy to just like go in the mainstream and just forget about what you what you want and what the environment expects of you. So I mean that's why I wanna like represent as well, like because there's no water here. Like the mermaid thing is kinda like it's like, what are you doing? Why do you wanna be a mermaid? There's no water here, but it's like, you know, it's what I am. I'm a mermaid. <laughs> when you're doing mural art, this is an amazing thing because you actually can interact with the community at large. People walking by, people live in the neighborhood, people live in the barrio, and they really see that you're here uh, beautifying their community, beautifying their neighborhood, beautifying their, their reservation. I think it's a really beautiful thing. It's very inspiring in the sense you see, you have like this creative force coming in and all this creative energy all at once. And I'm very sensitive to that. And I felt like it definitely fed into my work and my process and it really helped. It was really inspiring to meet all these new people and see all these you know new, new murals and pieces of work going up. Uh, I kept hearing these stories while I was up here about a unified race that was once there present before the Great Flood, as many cultures have one. And um, they were saying that some people went underground and popped up in the Polynesian Islands or in the Hawaiian Islands. Some wound up finding themselves on cliffs edges up north. Some went down to uh, South America. So my piece is a little bit about that. It's two travelers who are from different cultures but identify and know each other as family. You don't really hear too much about the Phoenix art scene, but I think that's going to change now, especially because of Paint Phoenix. What happens is when you have artists coming from Los Angeles, or Houston, or Chicago, or Hong Kong, or Hawaii. Uh, often, a lot of these artists are already working at a, uh, a higher level of technique. It influences artists here in our region. And so, as long as everybody respects everyone else's style differences, it's good for everybody. A lot of people don't see it as this, but it's definitely a performance. Especially on this public scale of the festival like this. You're out here working, you have people come by, and they're seeing the process. Before, when you're in the studio, or you're doing something overnight, there's no process. It's just like, here it is, and they see it in a gallery. But then when you show the process, and you show up, and you get to see it every day, or they can see you paint it, or even just graffiti like your peers. It's just a whole new perspective. It gives a whole new realm and dimension to the process because it's you as a performer. This whole thing is a performance and now it's just a memory and it's starting to slowly decay. The performance is over, the painting's over. Now it's taken on its own life.